has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Carle slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown, but we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shaw, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive Maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. Would you mind handling that, please? All right. I'm good to go. I know they're still trying to find the right lines for the shoot, but in case they do...
I found this. Uh, the script? You found it. Uh, thank you so much. Not a problem. Listen, the scene needs the fan to be running. Run over and man it, will you? Right before the scene starts, I'll signal to you to turn it on. Just make sure the safety is on and you don't go above the indicated power. I'll round up everyone. You got it. Great news, everyone. We have found the script. Get to your places. We are ready to shoot. All right, everybody. Mr. Rangan is on his way. We just need to get this one scene in the can, and then that is a wrap. Krishma, here's that last line that you kept missing. I'm yours forever, and now kiss me, hero. Hmm. Right, right. So, um, what's my motivation here? Like, why kiss him? He is a foul pirate. You love him. It is a pure, intimate love that has bloomed over the course of the weeks that you've spent in captivity. The evil witch queen had clouded your mind all of those years, but after he set you free, you realize that he is your true love, your hero. I don't know. It sounds kind of unrealistic to me. I mean, sure, he saved me and everything, and, and I understand why I would be grateful. But a kiss? Maybe just a firm handshake? Or a hug, even? Oh, you're full of love, Karishma. Mumbai has been rescued, set free. The pirate is not the evil person portrayed by the witch queen. Her attempts to kill him through the use of the assassin have failed. This is the beginning of your future together. I think it's a beautiful moment and it requires a kiss to seal the magic. Ugh. What was the last line again? I'm yours forever. Now kiss me, hero. Shit! All right, people. Time to get the show on the road. I'm here. My lips are ready for the final, most important shot of the film. Charisma, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Start the fan. Jaldi yaar, fast mark, come on. Action! Oh, that worked! You saved me, didn't you? Yes. The witch rests in hell now, along with her assassin. Rangan is confirmed killed. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. You know what really is the big problem? After I began slipping rhino in the wild. Down. 
47, our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crows on your map. No, it's not rumors. I saw him. And get this. I took his picture. Oh. Well, this is Maldi annoying to say the least. This looks like a very recent picture of the Maelstrom. With this in hand, picking him out in a crowd should be possible. 47, that man there. He resembles the Maelstrom. Try to get close to him for a visual ID. information to, you know, their boss. He showed me his picture in their hideout two days ago. I was so stressed out. I thought they were going to kill me or something. I can't remember his face. What if he shows up and, and, I, and I miss him? Then you should go and explain it to them. They probably still have the picture there. What if they hurt me? What will happen to you? Or if they decide to burn down the shop like they did with that other guy with the metal recycling? I won't do it. Pavel, I told you we would get into trouble with this business but you had to go and earn some easy money sharing information with the gangs this is your mess you fix it
Finally, you have 47. That man by the counter. That's the maelstrom. Well, looks like our patience paid off. How about you invite him in for a close shave? Come on in, sir. No, that isn't the maelstrom. All right, I'm ready for my shave. Get a close one. Tides are changing, my friend. Can you feel it in the air? My bones are creaking with joy at the prospect of what is about to happen. I don't feel anything, I'm afraid. You will, friend. You have an important task ahead of you, have you not? I sense that about you. Together, we will all release the shackles that have bound us far too long and rise up against those who seek to keep us down. Whether those are our friends or foes. A day of reckoning is coming, is it not? It does seem unavoidable, indeed. The question you must ask yourself when the time comes is what side you choose to be on. But that is not for now. For now, focus on your business and what you do best, friend. That is what I will do that. And that's it. The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. Just one target left. Let's bring this one home. Did you have any luck? No. That tailor is impossible. I explained to his employee that Miss Shah wants to meet with him, but he claimed that the tailor wasn't available. So you didn't just go inside and look? Only the Royal Guard can do stuff like that. I'm sure Miss Shah will send someone with more hands-on experience than me. He's the only tailor in town that can make that damn dress. That's what happens when you drown all the others, I guess. Excellent. Let's find out what kind of dress a woman like Vanya Shah wants. Shah wants a cerulean dress, 47. 
Perhaps you will be able to source a roll of the right fabric at the local cloth market. Sir. Can I interest you in my fine wares? Cheap, durable cloth in how much of these? Ah, my friend. Chosen well. Now we have the best prices here. But it's a deal. Ah, good, good. Take any of the bundles, please. Just one. Hey, surprise! Great. Thank you. Come again. You. Did you bring the cloth for Miss Shah? Yes, I have it right here. About bloody time. Come with me. Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously, so the guards will search you. Not to worry. You want to get through here? I need to frisk you first. Just stand still, and it will be over soon. Hey there. Okay, you're good to go. Miss Shah has been dying to meet you. It's not wise to keep her waiting, you know. I won't disappoint her then. That is a good idea. She's not been happy with the other tailors. A word of warning. Just play along with her eccentricities. She can be rather dangerous. Thank you. I'll do my best. Good man. Do well and there will be a lot of money in it for you. I know. Just go through there. The queen is waiting for you in the garden. I feel perhaps that is not the wisest decision to make when in a financial situation such as yours. That is Vanya Shah, self-appointed queen of the Mumbai slums. Provided the child lives so long. <laughs> that is the problem. Little Raji is not well. Five years, Mr. Hussein. Five years? Five years, my queen. Yes. Five additional years of servitude to your queen. For you and your wife. In exchange, I will take care of the bills for your new one until she is old enough to work the spinning mills. That is my offer, Mr. Hussein. Talk it over with your wife. I expect your acceptance tonight. Good day. Ah, the elusive tailor. Here at last. Let's have a look at the cloth you've chosen. I want to make sure the color is the right one. Yes, of course. Here it is. Excellent. Finally, some progress here. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements while you're here. What's up? You there. Leave us. I want some privacy. Let's start the measuring right away. If you didn't bring a tape, I'm pretty certain one of the other tailors left theirs behind. You can use that. What's the Get on with it. Relax your back, please, Miss Shah. I'll just measure your arms now, Miss Shah. Turn around, please, Miss Shah. I need to measure shoulder to shoulder. You've... <laughs> Confirmed kill on Vanya Shah. Excellent work, Mission completed. 
Time to find an exit. is a wondrous body. We were going to tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. 
But he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. <laughs> That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time. But after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady. But neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists. Murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. records this was a youth correctional facility until 1962 when the estate was overtaken by an obscure soviet research fund the institute for human betterment looks deserted the place was abandoned after a fire in 89 then only a few weeks ago it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency it has to be lucas gray he's here be careful 47 the breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. You came home. I knew you would. You've come a long way, 47. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Now, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything.
I know. It's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function. But we made a pact. You and I. Do this. And we both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject Six. Your name is Subject Six. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. So, Mr. Delgado. Now, finally, the engines. It is of the utmost importance that this sub goes as fast as possible. I can definitely say this is the fastest submarine I have ever worked on. Oh, yeah? Certainly, Mr. Delgado. Oh. 